she had a homemaker already and she upgraded to a larger set and seemed more excited about it than I ever could have been. I had Cucko at my house before I started working for Cucko and I didn't even know it. My ex-boyfriend's mom is always talking about Cucko and is always buying it from me. Prior to working here, I didn't even know cheese needed a knife, honestly. <laughs> What's unique about Cutco is we are right there at the customer's kitchen table. They have the opportunity to bring out whatever product they currently use, compare it to our Cutco product, and they get a first-hand account. Well, the cool thing is, by selling it direct, it actually cuts down on the cost because it's not marked up by the store itself. So in the demonstration, customers will use their knives so that they can see the difference between the knives that they're typically using and the Cutco knives. They can try it before they buy it. Some customers will be silent and super shocked, and some customers go crazy because they can't believe that they've been cutting with their own knives like that, and they see how easy Cutco is. Forever Guarantee, that's just all they talk about. <laughs> so the first part of the Forever Guarantee is forever performance, so if at any time something breaks, chips, melts, something goes wrong with the handle or the blade, you can go ahead and send it back and get it replaced. I've met customers who've had it for years, like it's crazy, like they'll tell me stories, 1952, my grandma had this and it's just so fun. We have a forever sharpness guarantee, so if at any time your cut coat goes dull, you can send it back to the factory and you'll get it sharpened for free. You know when you buy a new pair of shoes and you're just like, oh my god, I don't want to get these dirty. Like when I get a new cut I'm like, I'm gonna use this every second of the day. I had a customer and when I saw their cleaver, it was all chipped up and I asked her what she'd been using it for and she said something crazy like using it to nail some nail, or hammer some nails into the wall and hang some picture frames. So for misuse or abuse, if at any time you're using your Cutco for something your Cutco probably shouldn't be used for and it breaks or chips, you can go ahead and send it back and get it replaced for half the price. So you don't even have to buy a new knife. So the last part of the Forever Guarantee, if at any time you aren't completely satisfied, you can send it back and within 15 days you can get a full money back refund. got to the appointment, she opened the door and she said, I'm so happy that you're doing this. Cutco literally changed my life. I had customers hug me because I always they love Cutco. They love it. They love it. I'm proud to represent Cutco because I don't have to give up my integrity at all when I tell people it's the best. That's when I realized that customers really, really like this stuff and they're not just buying it because of me. My favorite part about how the scheduling works is that I can work as much as I want or I can work as little as I want. My favorite part about scheduling is that we can easily do it over FaceTime or Skype and we can change it week by week if we need to. My favorite part about how scheduling works is that it works for me. Our representatives set up all their own appointments themselves, which means they are in control. If someone else were setting up appointments for them, then they'd lose all that flexibility. Never once in my entire career have ever felt like I've sacrificed my social life or anything like that for this job. Making a schedule is easy. It's three steps. Step one of making a schedule is blocking off the obligations they already have. But we make sure that free time, family time, and other things that are really important are in their schedule too. Step two is blocking off times when the reps want to do their appointments. And you also look at working differently. You don't look at like the nine to five. You look at how much can I get done in the least amount of time? Step three is scheduling the appointments in the times that the representatives blocked off. I think setting up the appointment beforehand just kind of creates that ultimate rapport from the very beginning. One of the things I would always tell people when setting up appointments is that you don't have to buy anything. That 
made them feel less pressured. And then it's just a matter of showing up to do the presentation, either at the customer's home or if they're doing it virtually over Skype or FaceTime. So most people do a combination in person and virtual over Skype. The results are identical for both, so they get paid the same for both. When I show up, I think that customers treat me more as a friend. They don't treat me as a salesperson, they don't treat me as a kid, they just treat me as a friend, and it's nice. It was different to go onto a schedule or to, to make a schedule, but I would say the schedule definitely helped me hit the goals that I wanted to, make the income that I wanted, especially like during school. I would wake up in the morning and be like, you know what, I want to work today. And I would call 15, 20 people and I would set up a few demos for that day. I would do those demos and when I sold, I would get really motivated and I would be like, oh my God, I can't stop working. And I would make calls at night and then I would end up working every single day around my basketball training or around my lazy time, my free time. Working with us, a student will learn how to maximize their time. It's funny, people say that I can accomplish more in one day than most can in a week. And that's really due to the, to the time management that I learned. Our managers have been students or are students currently. We understand the demands of a busy schedule. So with college, it's a lot of like working around my classes. Because I had to train for basketball, I had to go to the movies, I had to sleep, I had to be lazy, I had to watch TV shows. If they go to church, if they have another job, if they have yoga in the morning. Everybody's got busy schedules. Everybody's schedule's a little bit different, and that's totally okay. Even if they're only working part-time, they can still advance in the company because everybody works at their own pace. I have the ability to take certain amounts of vacation time, so to speak. I just ask myself about it, basically. I'm like, oh, can I do that? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, the, the time management skills that I gained at Vector are invaluable. I still use an, an activity sheet. I could go get it for you. I love the flexibility of the position. It allowed me to travel and visit my friends. and It allowed me to celebrate the success that I was having with uh, doing the things that I wanted to do. My first appointment was for my mom, which went okay. Then my second appointment was for the neighbors, and they were just having so much fun. Seeing them at ease made me more comfortable in my presentation. We have our sales representatives begin by showing people that they know, whether it be friends or neighbors or relatives or anybody else close to them. We do that for a very good reason. First, our sales representatives feel very much at ease with people that they are already acquainted with. And then secondly, if one of those people want to buy Cutco, it only makes sense that they would buy from somebody that they already know. And they often do. I saw my hairstylist, my neighbor, my parents. I saw my aunt and my uncle for my third presentation on my first day of appointments. I never felt like I was pressuring friends and family, ever. I saw my grandma and I did the presentation for her. And she's this little old lady and she was just so happy just to watch. Let me come hang out with you for a little bit, show you a cool product, like I get paid either way. Um, you know, you like me, I like you, let's just have some fun. The way that I let people know that I wasn't going to push them was by letting them know that I was following my manual and that if they didn't want to buy that was okay. But I think that they more or less bought it because like the product was really good. It wasn't just about me, it was more or less about the product. Friends and family don't have to buy anything. If they do, we give them free products just for helping us out. Oh yeah, because people get excited about it. Like I love I love giving away free stuff. I teach our reps to give free stuff away to everyone they show Cutco to. And the reason why is because I want them to treat their customers like family and everyone likes a great deal. how to communicate and how to talk to people and how to interact and answer questions and, and ask questions and build rapport and it's, it's something that a lot of companies love. I got recommended to other friends and family whose numbers I didn't have and also some friends that I wasn't actually connected to. I met with my banker who I bought, got a car loan from, I met with my 
postman, I asked the UPS guy, the water guy. I did everything. Like I was out and, and, and about, I asked my professors. It was fun. The goal when the brand new is simply improvement. What I found was that because everybody loves Cutco, they wanted their friends to know about Cutco too. It's kind of like when a friend gets the newest and latest greatest phone or whatever, the first thing they do is go and show all their friends all the cool new features that it can do and everything. And that's what customers feel like they're doing when they're giving recommendations for Cutco. Obviously our representatives don't have an unlimited amount of friends and family. So when they get introduced to another person, we call that a referral. Once you learn how, it's relatively easy to get a lot of referrals. And I tell them, oh hey, we don't go door to door, we don't do any cold calling. And most of the time, people love the product, so they want to recommend their friends to a product that they love. I flip through my referral book and customers see, oh this isn't weird at all. She gave me 20 referrals and bought like four or five hundred dollars worth of stuff. One of my grade school teachers actually gave me 21 referrals. So every single customer we see, we either have a personal connection or we got a friendly introduction, which means our representatives are not sitting down with random strangers. I had to explain, no, actually, like I'm starting off with you guys and our friends, and then I get referred to their friends. Like they're not gonna refer me to somebody who's like crazy down the street, you know? I was just like, I'm just gonna follow the program, read my script, and do my thing. And I got plenty of referrals. All kinds of different people buy the product. People that love to cook. Gardeners. People that appreciate nice things. People that like to have gatherings where they have barbecues all the time. People who hate to cook. People who like to hunt or fish. People that work for the city. People that drive public transportation. People that work for a living. Or maybe they even have a professional career that allows them to network with a lot of people like a realtor, doctor, dentist, or lawyer. And people who have to cook. Yeah. Pretty much everyone is like, oh, I kind of have to cook. I don't really like it. Oh, I didn't realize that this was like such great stuff. They buy like hundreds of dollars. <laughs> My first weekend, I did seven appointments and sold on five of them. My first weekend I did I did 19 appointments um, and I and I sold right under six grand. It just kept going like it was like sale after sale even if it was a little sale. What I realized then is that the people that I had the most success with were exactly the ones that my manager told me I would. Be. My manager told me to see people who were married, who were over 30, and people who owned houses. All of those people bought and bought in big ways. Now in career sales I am at 60,000. If somebody has the right attitude, we can teach them how to be successful in our business. When you're a college student, like you just can't even imagine, you know, spending like a thousand dollars or multiple hundred dollars like in a month. I guess like working in sales kind of changed my perception of of money. When you get right down to it, you go to work to earn a paycheck. Everyone wants to be paid fairly. There's a base pay and an incentive pay. They get paid either or. Whichever is greater, not both. The base pay is great because we don't have to pressure anyone. We can be ourselves and have fun. Now the base pay varies depending on office location. So let's say the base pay is $15 per appointment. And we advertise it as base per appointment so people know it's not an hourly rate. When a representative does 10 appointments, they make $150. 30 appointments, $450. 5 appointments, $75. And so on and so forth. Every time I had a no sale, I was like, all right. <laughs> like, yeah, that's like more than I ever made scooping ice cream. Even if like, if you ran into a no sale or a demo didn't go well or something like that, you could always have that in the back of your mind where it's just, well, I still made money, you know? Last year, we paid out $4.1 million to our students for no sales. And we're very proud of that fact. It helps our students feel comfortable. It helps our customers feel comfortable. Base pay always stays the same, but incentive pay gets bigger as their career sales increase. Nobody tells you how much you're worth or how much you can make. Let's say a representative does 10 appointments for the week. Sticking with the $15 example, their base pay would be $150. Let's say their total sales from those appointments was $1,000. 
Maybe they got one big order, a bunch of small orders, some no sales, whatever. It doesn't really matter how they got to $1,000. At 10%, they'd make $100 on the incentive pay. So in this example, they'd make the $150 base pay because it's greater than the incentive pay. They get either or whichever is greater, not both. Um, I've only hit base pay once. That was just because it was an off week, which everyone has. I, I never, I've never once filed for base pay because I've always earned more off the incentive with my sales. A representative does another 10 appointments. Their base pay would still be $150. But let's say this time their total sales from those appointments is $2,000. They're getting better. Maybe they had a few more big orders, a few less no sales. Again, doesn't matter how they got to $2,000. Every single sale counts towards their career total. And as their career total grows, so does their incentive pay. So instead of 10%, now they're earning 15%. And at 15%, they'd make $300 on incentive pay. So in this example, they'd make the $300 for the week because it's greater than the base. Once I got started getting paid the incentive pay, I actually forgot I got paid base pay. Oh, that was when it, it was a big turnaround because when you get a paycheck for a grand it, after a week, it's like, all right, I guess you can stay. <laughs> you know, when you have financial security, it takes a lot of stress out of your life. The majority of our students get paid on incentives. That speaks to two things, the quality of the products and the training the students get. Not a high pressure training, because if we did that, I don't think we'd sell much of anything. The only time that I ever pressured someone was my second demo, my uncle, and I didn't get a sale. And I never did it after that again. Some students start off wondering whether they will sell anything. And we tell them all the same thing. Be yourself, cut rope, and smile. First promotion is one our students remember forever. That's their first thousand dollars in sales. I can still tell you where I was when I hit my first promotion. I did get my first promotion on my very first weekend. Yeah, and, and in my first weekend I got promoted twice, so that was pretty nice too. It typically takes six to 10 presentations for somebody to hit their first promotion, which means that we have some people that hit it very, very quickly. I hit my first promotion my third day. So if someone's confused about pay, we tell them three things. Number one, representatives get paid every week, either or whichever is greater, whether that's a virtual appointment over Skype or at the customer's kitchen table. Number two, there are no quotas they have to hit. We don't want to pressure our representatives. We don't want to pressure our customers. Number three, the income potential grows because the incentive pay increases. It never goes backwards, never resets. It starts at 10% and goes to 15, 20, 25, even 30% and beyond. It was really, really cool to realize that someone my age can make that much money. I have a goal of graduating college debt free. So that was one of my biggest things with working with Vector because I have the ability to do that. I think the biggest thing is being fulfilled in what you're doing, uh, being happy. Building a resume, building up a LinkedIn profile, these things matter. There probably isn't a week that goes by that I don't receive an email or perhaps a letter from a parent or a relative of one of our sales representatives describing how wonderful the experience has been for them. That they have never seen their child more happy, more satisfied at any work that they've done in their lives. And I will tell you as president, I never get tired of receiving emails like that. I had no sales experience before Vector, unless you count Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> it's an amazing transformation watching a rep go through training. They start off timid, sometimes apprehensive, but they leave confident and excited.
We've been training students to sell Cutco for over 30 years, and we've gotten pretty good at it. I was just really impressed with the managers, and I was impressed with um, with the product and the programs that they had, and they seemed like they were really there to help, help people out. Like, throughout training, every second of it, I just wanted to get out and sell. I just wanted to get out and learn the demo, learn the approach. Our, our very short training seminar is unpaid. The good news is that we don't charge anybody for it either. Role playing helped me a lot to become more confident in my presentation. Reading back and forth over and over. Role playing is effective for multiple reasons. One, it just gets out those new person jitters. The other part is it allows people to get comfortable with the material. But most of all, it just naturally builds confidence. Practice makes permanent. The script is literally bulletproof. Whatever they tell you to say, if you say it, you sell. Immediately after the training seminar, they'll begin presentations. They'll make some sales on those, but even if they don't, they get paid just to introduce Cutco to people. If I was nervous or didn't know what to say, I just looked down and read, and they still bought for me, which was pretty cool. Face-to-face -face presentations, virtual presentations, people that already own Cutco, they get paid starting with their very first presentation. Oh, seeing Cutco owners is the best because they have stories about their product, how much they love it, how much they've used it, and they also, I mean, they give great referrals. According to a study by Heart Research, 96% of employers say that students should have experiences outside the classroom that teach them how to deal and communicate with people that are unlike themselves. In the real world, you're, you're really a number. With Vector, you felt cared for, you felt like a, a family member. I really believe in the training that you know Vector and Cutco has taught for sure. And I've used a lot of this stuff um, just overall, and I've implemented it into the, the current positions that I have right now. We feel great about what they learn in the training seminar. Building rapport with customers, better communication skills, time management, an opportunity to practice in an environment that is safe, a chance to meet new people, build a relationship with the district manager, a seasoned professional, and of course they get all their supplies for free. I used to say in college, when are we ever going to use this stuff? But I knew from the first 10 minutes walking into training with Cutco that I was going to use this stuff forever. Mm -hmm.